Hi, this is Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to create a test in Blackboard 9. Lots of people are interested in saving paper and um, making things more digitally available, um, and this is one of those ways that you can really do that. So, in the Evaluate tab, I'm going to, well, first let me um, go into the place I'd like to have my test, and I'm going to just go to the Assignments area. And I'm going to go to the Evaluate tab under the Assignments area and click on Create Test. Now, I don't have any tests. If I had them, they'd be um, shown below, and I could select old tests if I wanted to deploy those. Um, but I'm going to create a new test. I'll cl click on Create. And I'll call this New Test. And I could give it a description here. I'm not going to bother. And I'll scroll down. I could give it instructions as well, but I'm not going to bother. I'll just hit submit. And then it brings you up into the test canvas area. And the test canvas is going to allow you to create the questions on your test. And I'll just create one to sort of show you how to do it. So I'm going to scroll over, create a question, and I'm going to do a, and I've got lots of different options. Let me actually scroll up so you can see them all. Um, I've got lots of different options. I'll choose true false. Okay. And now I can enter the question here. Blackboard 9 allows for easy group grading. And I can give it a point value. By default, the point value is 10. Um, I can choose the answer orientation, vertical or horizontal. And then I choose the correct answer, which is true. Um, and then I can give you feedback for a correct answer. I could give feedback for an incorrect answer as well. And I'll just say correct for the correct answer and sorry for the incorrect answer. And now I also can put it in categories and levels of difficulty and topics and keywords. And that is really nice if I have a question bank because then I'll be able to access, for example, something in a particular category and see all the uh, questions that relate to that category. And I can pick and choose from those. And I'll hit submit. And that's it. I've got my one question. I can... I can go back in later if I want and change the header so I can uh, change the name of the test. I can give it a new description and give it instructions. I'm um, just clicking on that chevron and then saying edit will bring up that edit page and I can do that. Um, I can add more questions. I can reuse questions. I can even upload questions if I like. And if you'd like to try to upload questions, um, you can go ahead and just click on that upload questions link and it'll ask you to choose a file where you've got your questions and if you don't know what format to have your questions in um, we've got a little help button here and if I click on the more help area in the upload questions um, it gives us a little window and it will tell us how to go about doing it and you can read all that follow the format rules and they have examples there and some people will find that a lot easier especially if you're doing large question sets um, and then that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I don't want to upload a question. And let's say I'm done. A couple of other things that you should be aware of. There's a creation settings uh, button here. And you can click on that if you wanted to do things like add uh, feedback for individual answers, images, files, or external links, um, various other display options. But I'm going to cancel that. And that's it. I've got my one question test and I'll click the OK button in gray here. And now you'll see that that new test has been added. And that's how you create a test. Um, next is going to be how to deploy it. And that's going to be in the next episode.